are you? Hi, Miss Zakia. I'm Wizday. Your Wizday? Yeah, the wizard. The wizard? Yeah. Oh, okay. What are you doing here? So, Miss Zakia, why are you letting outside? I was just thinking. Hmm. Am I pretty? Oh, well. Oh, with uh, with Dave, can you please tell me, am I the prettiest of all? Well, well, well. Let me tell you. Of course, it is not you. Sorry, huh? not you. Why is it not me? You're not the prettiest. Sorry. Then tell me who that would be. Okay. Well, well. Let me tell you this. There is someone in this room who is the prettiest. She has everything that everyone has ever wanted. Okay. And most importantly, she has something that you don't have. I don't have? Sorry. <gasps> Bye. You're not. <laughs> Bye -bye. Uh... <laughs> Miss Akia, uh... why are you crying? Because he told me that I'm not pretty. He told you you're not pretty, Miss Akia. Don't no. feel sad. You are already very pretty. Am I? Yes, you really? are. Really? Very pretty. Thank you. DD TV, KPM. Hello, 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 everyone. How are you all doing at home? I hope everyone is doing well. And you are now watching DD TV KPM. And my name is Hanif Sean. I'm sure you're all excited to see what just happened. There's with Dave. And then there's Miss Zakia who's sweeping the floor. What is going on there? Uh, before we proceed further, just make sure you are ready to know what we're going to learn today. So today we'll be doing together English for level two slot. And make sure you have your pen, your paper all ready with our with with our exploration today but of course you want to know more who is this with Dave who is Mizakia let's watch their profile Yes, there they are. So we have two teachers today. One, we have Miss Wan Sakia Wan Sulong from SK Kenoshan Convent, Kluang Joho. And of course, we have Mr. Lai Shengchet, also from SJKC Cheng Kuo, uh, Kuala Lumpur. Hello, welcome to the both of you. And I think I can call you as Mr. Dave, yes. right? Perhaps, Mr. Hello, Dave, honey. you can introduce yourself first. Hello, hi everyone. Let's welcome, okay, to learn English with me, Mr. Dave, and my partner. Hi, I'm Miss Zakia. All right, so, Miss Zakia, I think our students are very excited to start the lesson, right? Yes, Okay. Yeah. I'm sure we're all so excited to start exactly. lessons. I'm sure our pupils at home are all very excited as well. But again, a friendly reminder to you and, of course, to all of us to always always abide to the SOPs in place because we are all still fighting against COVID-19 and how do we abide to these SOPs? Let's follow these three simple steps. The first step would be to wear your face mask that closes right from the top of your nose. Uh -huh, there you go, just nice, until the bottom of your chin. Number two, always practice social distancing at least a meter from yourself and the next person. Number three would be the easiest way which is to keep our body hygiene at very good level and the basic way is to keep our hands clean by washing with hand with soap and water adequately all right if you don't have water don't worry you can just use a hand sanitizer gel all right as you can see from the three of us we are practicing social distancing and definitely i would like to invite mr dave to sanitize your hands first sure right and of course miss zakia as well all right, thank can you. help you sanitize your hands and I'm going to do the same thing. And a reminder again to everyone, when you sanitize your hands, please ensure that the hand sanitizer covers all around your fingers and definitely up to the wrist. And we are also practicing our social distancing here. Okay? Mr. Dave and Ms. Akia, it's not just the three of us here in the studio. Yeah. We also have six other pupils joining us online. Hello, everyone. Can you wave at us here? How is everyone doing there? Hi kids. Hi kids. Hello. 
Are we ready? There? Okay, all right. There they are. Oh, Hi, kids. Let's just Hello. wave again. Give that energy going on. Woo. Yeah. All right, amazing. So I will mention your name one by one, and you may introduce yourself, yeah? We'll start from Valerie K, who is from SJKC, Chung Kuo, Kuala Lumpur. Hi, everyone. My name is Valerie K. Yangi. You can call me Valerie. I'm from SJKC Chongkwo, Kuala Lumpur. Nice to meet you all. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you, Valerie. We also have Eng Kai Jun from the same school. Okay. Hi, I am Eng Kai Jun. I'm from SJKC Chongkwo, Kuala Lumpur. I'm in year four this year. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet, nice you, to meet you too. You. And of course, we have Natalie Chow. Hi everyone, I'm Natalie Chow. I'm from SJKC Chung Kuo. Nice to meet you all. Nice, nice to meet to you, meet Natalie. You. All right, those three pupils are yep. from SJKC Chung Kuo, Kuala Lumpur. And next, we have from SK Menumpang, Kuala Penyu Sabah with Elman Zidane. Hello, Elman. Assalamualaikum and hi. I'm Elman Zidane, Ben Azman. A year four student from SK Menumpang, Kuala Penyu, Sabah. I'm okay. so grateful to be here. Sabah memang boleh, ba? Welcome, Salam, and nice to meet you, Elman. And from SK Perempuan Bandar Kelon, Johor, we have Nur Izzatul. Hi, everyone. My name is Nur Izzatul Nadir Amsirosin. You guys can call me Izzatul. I'm 10 years old, and I'm from SK Perempuan Bandar Kelon, Johor. It's nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you too, Izzatul. And lastly, we have from SK Kenojan Convent, Kelon, Johor, we have Siu Heiyi. Hi, everyone, and hi, teachers. My name is Yu Hei. You can call me Hei. I am 10 years old in year 4 from SK Kenneshan Convent in Kluang, Johor. It's nice to be a part of this event with everyone here. Thank and, you. And we are so happy to have you part of us today. All right, so those are our six pupils online. And Ms. Akia, Mr. D, share with us. In this English Level 2 slot, what are we going to explore and learn together? All right, so let's have a look at the topic, okay? Our today's topic is about helping out. So, Hanif, may I ask you a question? Sure. What do you understand about the, word, the phrase helping out? Well, when I think about helping out, mm. it's about helping other people. Exactly, Perhaps right? sweeping or even helping my mom to wash exactly. the dishes. Good, so yeah. this is what we normally do. We help out someone, you know, perhaps we help our parents to do something at home. So this is why I call helping out. So this is our today's topic. All right, so before we start, let's look at these learning standards. All right, so our learning standards for today's lesson, there are two. There, are, uh, there is one main and there is one which is a complementary one. So the main learning standard is 4.2.3, describe basic everyday routines. This and 4.3.2, which is the complementary one, Spell most high-frequency words accurately in guided writing. So for today's lesson, the main skill is about writing. It's about writing yeah. and we're going to learn lots of spelling, I guess, as well, yes, Mr. Dave. Yes, spelling as well, yeah. So students will undergo I mean, quite a number of uh, writing tasks later. But don't worry, students. We, too, will guide you. Very interesting. And Ms. Akia, I'm sure you have a lot to share as well. Okay, now thank you Mr. Dave. Let me explain to you about the learning objectives for our lesson today. Now, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to write sentences to describe people and things using four indefinite pronouns with correct spelling. See, remember Mr. Dave mentioned about the spelling? Alright, and then the second one is write a short paragraph, describe your routines in helping out at home with adverbs of frequency. Okay, I hope you're ready. Yes, I'm sure we are all so excited, right? Because there are a lot of things that we're going to achieve together. Hmm. Exactly. Now we're starting with another question. Yes, yes, so before we start, hi kids, can I see thumbs up from you guys? Thumbs up? Yeah, Give me your most so guys energetic thumbs up. Yes, very energetic, right? In this. So, for today's topic, okay, before we start, so I have a few questions I'd like to ask the kids, okay? So, the first question, perhaps, um, you know, uh, pupils, you can share with us, okay, what do you normally do at home? You know, since now it's PDPR, right? So, 
I think that you know kids stay home most of the time, and a lot of things, right? They are going to help out the parents, you know, to do at home. So perhaps um, who can try? Would like to share with us? Yes, we have Valerie there. All right, Valerie, share with us. My mother to wash the dishes at home. Mm, mm, great. Good. That's very what good, about, Valerie. Yes. So what about the rest? Others? Okay, Can you raise your hand? Okay. Okay, to try and answer the question. All right. I always help throw up my mother to vacuum the floor. And oh. I usually help my mother to do the washing up. Ah, wow, so good. Great. That's very good. A responsible boy. Yeah. I'm sure your Basically, is... our kids are all very helpful. Yes. Exactly. And I'm sure his house is spotless. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. Always vacuuming the house. All right, <laughs> anyone else want to try? Okay, Elman. Go ahead, Elman. I usually help my mom babysit my little brother. Oh, oh, that's very that's nice. Good. Very good. How very old is your little brother, Elman? He's three years old. Three years oh, old. Three years old. Good. Very young. All right. A very responsible older brother. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So now here comes the second question. Okay, the second question is Do you help out your parents at home and what do you normally do? This is what, like, maybe I want, well, I would like to hear uh, the answers from the other students. Like, anyone? Yes. We have not tried yet. Okay, hey. Yes, I do. Mm. So, what do you normally do? I help to vacuum the floor, prepare dinner, and clean the table after meals. Wow, mm. dinner. That must be a good cook then. Yeah. <laughs> she is, I'm sure. Right. So, what about others? Um, we, we still have two more. Yes, Natalie. All right. I sometimes help my mom set up the table. I usually help my mom also wash the car. Oh, mm. wash the car. Wash Very the good. Car. Mm. You know, it's a form of exercise, right? Yeah. Exactly. Mm. And I think all of us should be exercising more these days. Yes. Right? All Do you right. want one more try? Yeah, one more. Yes. Anyone? Who's our last pupil to try? Yeah. Exacto. I usually help my mom clean the table. And then I help my father um, water the plants. Oh, water, water the plants. plants. I'm sure she has very beautiful garden at home. Yes, exactly. All right. That is true. That is true. All right. All right. So here very, comes. Yeah, very here good comes answers. The, yes. Okay. So here comes the third question. Okay. So the last one. How okay. do you feel Mr. about... Mr. D, before yeah. we go to the que oh. third question, I'm sure all of us would like to answer more questions here, you know, yeah. because I think all our pupils here are very responsible mm. people. Okay. And really helpful. fit what we're going to learn today about helping out. And if you want to learn more, do not go away. Continue to stay with us on D-Date TV KPM because we're just going to take a short break. I'm just going to take a bit of water. All right. Stay with us. TV KPM Did you know doing chores helps children learn to be responsible and independent? You are back with us on d -Date TV KPM and my name is Hanif Sean and today together we are learning English level 2 slot and with me I have two teachers, well actually I have one teacher and I have one wizard, huh, how is that happening? Alright, the teacher, both teachers, uh, she is Miss Wan Sakia Wan Sulong from SK Konojian Convent, Luang Johor and of course the wizard who is also a teacher is Mr Lai Shen Chet from SJKC Chung Kuala Lumpur who I'm addressing as Mr. D. Yes. All right, so what else do we have? I, I believe in this time that we were answering questions yep. and you said that we will learn about sentences as well as spelling today. Yeah, mm -hmm. writing. Do yes, share with us. writing skills. All right, so now I'm going to show students, uh, pupils, this text, all right? So, pupils, does this text remind you anything? All right? So, look. All right? This was actually, you know, what um, the Wiz Dave say to Miss Zake early on. All right. So now let's look at the text. Okay. So there is someone in this room is the prettiest. She has everything that everyone has ever wanted. Most importantly, she has something that you don't have. Now look at the two words highlighted in red. 
So here comes the task, all right, pupils? Ready? Okay, so I need you to list four words, okay? Four words that refer to a person, a thing, okay? Besides these two highlighted words in red. All right, these two words highlighted in red. All right, besides these two words highlighted in red. So who wants to give a try? And, and I'm sure even the pupils at home would like to try. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So mm. they would need to do, they would need to find four words. Four, four words, words. Right. besides you and she. she. Yes. Okay, perhaps we can, yes, we can ask the pupils at home. Again, everyone's raising their hands. Everyone is so enthusiastic today. Okay. Wow. Shall okay. we have Ng Kai Jun? Yes. Sure. Go ahead. What is Everyone. your answer, Ng Kai Jun? Everyone. Everyone. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So, three more. Raise your hands. There wow. you go. Okay. Valerie Kick. Someone. Someone. Very wow. good. Very yes, good. that's right. Okay, two more. Okay, um, can we have? Yes. Elman. Elman. Everything. Everything. Good yes. job. Yes. Very good. Well, yeah. One more, the last one. Yes, Natalie Chow. Something. 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 Yeah. Excellent. Wow, I think it was, our kids are smart, aren't they? They're all very excellent yes. today. Okay, so here are the answers. Someone, everything, everyone, and Something. These are the four words that we use to refer a thing or a person except the pronouns, right? She and you. Okay, so here comes the task. The next task, I think the previous task was quite, you know, not challenging, mm. maybe. Perhaps an introduction. Yeah, a bit just more. introduction. Right. So now here comes the next task, which I have upgraded it to the next level. Okay, so, wow, look at the picture. Oh my gosh. Such a messy room, yeah, Mr. Day. Exactly, yeah. right? Exactly. And you see, it's, the, everything is just scattered around you know, on the floor. All right, so what I want our pupils to do is to study the picture and write sentences using these four indefinite pronouns, which are someone, something, everyone, and everything. So, pupils, can you do it? That's yes. right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So now I want you to type out your sentences on Whiteboard 5. All right? Can Don't you worry. open your Whiteboard 5? Don't worry. All right? So all of so, you, even those people at home, you must also participate with us today. Right. Exactly. So get your tools ready. Yes, exactly. So they will need to type out the sentences on Whiteboard 5, right? Ms. Okay. Takia? Let's show them the examples. Yeah. So here are some of the examples. So don't worry. We'll guide you through. Okay, so let me show you some examples that you can refer, okay, to help you to write out the sentences. So you can, you can make a simple sentence like, there is something on the table, or someone is hiding behind the tree, or the woman is eating everything on the plate. Well, must be very hungry. Oh, yeah. She must be a very hungry <laughs> yeah. lady. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone I'm feeling is, hungry right now. You're exactly. feeling hungry too. And the last sentence that you can refer is, everyone is cleaning the kitchen, mm. all right? So, of course, these are the examples, all right? So, pupils, now it's your turn to write out the sentences using Whiteboard 5, all right? Hmm. So, while you're writing the sentences, yes, have a look at the photo. Look at it closely and see what you can do. And there are four words, right, Mr. Exactly. Mr. Dave, yeah. as you mentioned? Four indefinite pronouns. Four indefinite pronouns. Yes. Everyone, everything, Some someone, thing. and something. Yes. Exactly. Right. I think this, there could even be a song with yeah. all these four words. Yeah, yeah, maybe. maybe you can, you can come up with a song? Perhaps oh. we'll come up with a song. And I'm sure our pupils at home and our pupils online as well are all preparing to give their answers. Mm. Do you think they are ready? Yes, I think so because I need to show them this whiteboard file, the answers. All right, so uh, here are the answers. Oh, we already have answers mm. in. So, mm. people at home, I'm sure you are also looking at your answers and cannot wait. What is Mr. Dave going to show us right now? Mm. Right, okay. so we have the answers ready. And there are four words here yeah? someone, something, Everyone and everything. Is that yes. right, Ms. Yes. Akia? Yes. Someone, something, something. 
everyone, everyone and everything. everything. Four indefinite pronouns mm. that you need to mm -hmm. use to describe this photo. Yes. Right. This very messy room. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure. Is your room like that? Uh, so far, no. <laughs> no I'm <laughs> so glad to hear no, that. I hope not. Hear, but I'm quite sure as well, all of our pupils online, because they have been very responsible children, none of their rooms are like this. Mm -hmm. yeah, so just continue cleaning. It's also good exercise for you. And. How is it? Yeah, we have the answers here. We have the answer here. Okay. Yeah, so it's actually from Elman. From Elman, Yeah, okay. so perhaps Elman, you can read all the sentences. Exactly. All right. So oh good God. answers. Mm. Okay. Can we have the next students to read out their sentences as well? Yes. Who would like to try? There you go. Yes. We have Eng Kai Jun. Go ahead, Eng Kai Jun. Share with us your answers. Okay. There is something under the table. Exactly. The is there something? Thing. Yeah. There, there is, is something. There is everything in the bedroom. Mm. The third one is, there is someone vacuuming the floor. Mm. The fourth one is, there is something on the, da on the table. Mm. There is something on the table. Yeah. 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 Mm. Very, Very good, good. answer. All right. So can we good have ice. the third student? Yes. yes. Who Perhaps? would like to share the, their sentences? Yes. So we have Valerie. Okay. Valerie, Kate, go ahead. Share with us your answers. The first one is, there is something behind the bookshelf. Mm. Wow. Good eye. The second one is, someone is vacuuming the floor. Mm -hmm. Okay. The third one is, there is everything on the floor. Oh, yeah, everything, everything is everything. on the floor. Exactly. Everything is right. on the floor. <laughs> Number four is, anyone can tidy the room. Oh, but we don't have anyone here. Perhaps someone, right? This is what you're going to say? Or oh, everyone? Ah. Right, everyone, right? Everyone in the room is? Cleaning the room. Cleaning the room. Yeah. Exactly. Good job. All right, good job, good Valerie. Job, Valerie. Right. Well done to Thank all the students online and all students at home as well. Please make sure you're checking your answers and mm. make sure that perhaps you could have gotten the same answers as our, our pupils yeah. here. Yeah, exactly. All right. All right, so can we have the next student Who would like to, to read share their, their sentences? sentences? Exactly. Okay. We have. Hey. Hey. Hi. Okay, let's read. Everyone is cleaning up the room. Everything in the room is messy. Someone is trying to pick up something from under the bed. Wow. There is something behind the bookshelf. Very okay, good. good. Very Excellent. Good answers. job. Thank you, Siu Hey. Hmm. I think, you know, I personally, I don't like this room. Very, I hate messy rooms. You hate messy rooms, yes, Mr. Exactly. Dave? exactly. Hmm. I'm sure we all hate messy rooms, yeah, right? And yeah. of course, when we see messy rooms, what do we do first? We clean them. We clean it up, yes. we'll arrange our clothes, <laughs> we'll sweep it, we'll vacuum, we will exactly. mop. Exactly. Yes, I remember what my mom said, please make sure every day when you wake up, mm. before you leave your room, that you have already made up your bed and no clothes on the floor. Yes, true. Ah, yes, and that was 30 years ago. <laughs> 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 that was 30 years ago. So whatever advice that your parents are giving you right now, 30 years later, you will see these advices are very useful, exactly. isn't it? Mm. Yeah. All right, so I'm sure all of us are still so excited to know what else are we going to be spelling, what else are we going to be learning, are there more indefinite pronouns that we're going to learn together and to come up with sentences. And those pupils at home, are you all still excited? I'm sure you're all still very excited and energetic to be with us today but do not go anywhere we're just gonna have a short break okay i'm still gonna take another cup of water and then together we're gonna learn with english level two slot when the topic is helping out do not go anywhere stay with us on didate tv kpm <laughs> you know, the average person spends 87% of their time indoors. You can make cleaning your home a priority.
You're back with us on DDIC TV KPM, and my name is Hanif Sean, and today we are learning English Level 2 slot together, and the topic is about helping out. So I'm helping to pick up the paper here. Let me just tidy that up. Okay, I'm going to put this nicely. Uh huh. But definitely, I am not alone, and I am with two teachers, and they are Miss Wan Zakia, who is from SK Konojan Convent Luang Johor, and we also have Mr. Lai Shengchet from SJKC Chungkuk Kuala Lumpur. So that's Wizard Dave, actually, and this is Miss Zakia. And of course, we have six students online, and everyone is still so excited. And before we took a break, so we came up with some sentences from four indefinite pronouns, yeah. which are someone, something, everyone, and everything. Right, what else are we going to do together right now? Okay, thank you, Mr. Hanif. Okay, uh, we are going to start our second writing activity. Are you ready? Are you ready? Show me some love if you're ready. Show me some love. All right, people are ready, ready love. to show us some love as well. Okay, good. Okay. So, to start our first writing activity, let's watch this special video prepared by three helpful kids. And I want you to listen to what are they talking about. Okay? Alright, let's watch the video. Hi, I'm Sai Mikael, a year for student for SK Saujana in Pian. I usually help my mother vacuum the floor at weekends. And I always help her wash and dry the dishes. I'm Sai Mikael, sign off. Hi everyone, it's me, Muhammad Abbas. I'm your fourth student from SK Garden Sites in Ajaham. You know, I love to help out my mom in the kitchen. I never cook, but I always sit the table before meal. Oh, I also do the washing up. Bye! I love to help my mother at home. I always help her to water the plants in the garden. I sometimes help her to take out the rubbish. Bye! <laughs> oh, that's very nice, isn't it? For all three students, very, very responsible pupils that we have here. And I'm sure all of you are also very responsible. Waking up early in the morning, helping your mom prepare the breakfast, and then cleaning up after, isn't it? Aren't, yes. aren't they? So I'm yeah. sure they're also responsible as well, right? Yeah. Please, continue, Ms. Zakia. Okay. Now, can anyone tell me what were they talking about? Oh. Raise your hand. Who wants to answer? Okay. Right, so we have... Unkaijun, yes. What were they talking about, Unkaijun? Oh. They talk. Alright. Okay, Unkaijun. Alright. Yes, Unkaijun. Can you repeat? Okay. okay. They're talking about their daily routine. Their oh. daily routines. Good Very words. good. Okay. Alright, good job. What are the daily what were the daily routines that they were talking about? Who would like to Try. Would like to answer that? Anyone what were the daily like routines they? Would you like to try, Elman? Raise your hand, please. Okay, it's Elman. Yes. They're helping out their parents. Ah, mm. they help out their parents. They were sharing about their routines in helping out at yeah. home. Very good. Okay, how do you help your family members at home? This is a very. This is a question. How do you help your family members at home? Who wants to try? Okay, Valerie K. I help my mother to do the washing up after every meal. Very good wow, to do the washing up. Meal. Yeah, after, after every meal, every breakfast, meal. Lunch, 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 dinner, dinner. Yeah, perhaps Meet supper, ah. <laughs> okay, maybe tea. Ah, maybe yeah, tea. tea. Okay, very good. Okay, yeah, good exactly. job, kids. Very All right. good, Valerie. Okay, now let's look at these special paragraphs. Hmm. Ah, okay. Now I would like to ask our host. To help me to read the first paragraph. Sure. Can you do that? So okay. the first paragraph would say, Hi, I'm Alice. I love helping my mom at home. I always help her to water the plants in the garden. I sometimes help her to take out the rubbish. Good. Thank you. All right. I have one more question uh, for Mr. Hanif. Can yes, you Ms. tell Akia. me, how often does Alice help uh, her mother to water the plants? Alice has helped the mother to water How her often? plants. How often? She said 
Always. 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 Good Always. job. So probably from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, yeah. and Sunday. Mm -hmm. Always. Especially yeah. during the hot days. Exactly. The plants need water. All right, let's move on to the second paragraph. Uh, I would like to ask someone who would like to volunteer him, him, himself or herself to read the second paragraph. Anyone? Raise your hand. Or can we try? Yes. Okay, Valerie. Valerie. Go ahead, Valerie. I can't see the paragraph. Oh, you can't see the paragraph? Okay, hmm. there you are. So the second paragraph. Okay. Hi, I'm Shed Michael. I usually help my mother vacuum the floor at weekends. I always help wash and dry the dishes. Oh. Thank you. Very good, Valerie. Thank you very much. Now, Valerie, I have a special question. How often does Said Mikael help his mom to vacuum the floor? How often? Usually. 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 Good yeah. job. Perhaps four days, yeah. you know, five days in a week, yeah, yeah, usually. Maybe. Yes, yeah. very good. Okay. okay, thank you, Valerie. Now, let's move on to the third paragraph. Who would like to uh, read the last paragraph? Okay, Hey. Yes, go ahead, Hey. The last paragraph. Yeah, I can't see the... Okay, let's sure. wait for... The... Ah, there you go. Hi everyone, it's me, Mohaba Abbas. I love to help out my mom in the kitchen. I never cook, but I always set the table before meals. I also do the washing up. Good job! Okay, see you, Hei. Hang on, I have a last question. Can you tell me how often does Abbas help with the cooking? Oh. Mm. Mm. Never. never. Abbas never cooks. Abbas sounds like me. <laughs> I don't cook, but I will help out with the dishes. Ah, good. Ah, good. 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 So. Okay, thank you, Hei. Good job. All right. Well done, hey. Now, these words that I have highlighted always, sometimes, usually, and never are what we call. What do we call? What do we call what them? Are they? What are they, kids? What are they? What are they? Anyone? Anyone? Sorry? Elmai? Yes, exactly. adverbs of frequency. Oh, sorry, Ad adverbs of frequency. These Good adverbs job. are you. Okay. So these are adverbs okay. of frequency. Right? These adverbs are used hmm. to tell us how often one activity is being done. All right. Okay. Now I have prepared for you this special chart. We call it a frequency chart, and we, uh, it has four different levels. Four different levels. Now, for the first level, who would like to answer, uh, tell me, the first level, what is the adverb for the first level? It is fully, completely in red. Okay. Yes, so we have a Isato. try. Isato. Always. 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 Yes, very good. Exactly. It's always. Good job. Now, the second level, it's not fully in red. It's almost always. Hmm. What is the adverb for that? Okay, Enkai Jun. Usually. 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 Very wow. good. Good job. Sorry. So we have okay. always and okay. then we have usually. And then we are left with two more. Who can tell me the, uh, the third adverb? Okay, I think let's choose uh, Natalie. Sometimes. Sometimes. Good Sometimes. job. Sometimes. Yes. And good the last job. one it is? Never. Never, never. Okay, never, why never. am I telling you about this adverbs of frequency? Because you are going to do a short paragraph. Uh -oh. This is your next activity. Wow. Well, we have an assignment this sounds now. challenging. Yeah, hmm. it's a, it's a, an upgrade version of the okay. first uh, the first activity, the first writing activity. All right, for this writing activity, what you need to do is write a short paragraph on how do you help your family members at home, and please use at least two adverbs of frequency which we have mentioned earlier sometimes always never. usually and never yes, yes very right. good okay for this writing activity please write your sentences your paragraph in whiteboard file all right can in you do that file, kids sure if you can do that show me some love show me some, some love, love if you can do this you will still and do and join us to do this exercise all right. and give us some love as well. So are we all ready okay, to start yes. doing the paragraph? Don't worry, I am giving you a guide on how to do the writing, the paragraph. Okay, you can use this incomplete uh, paragraph template, with, template, yes. Yes, you, uh, with suitable information. And I have listed some of the housework here. Ah, ah so these must be the things that I will miss Zakia. 
that's at home. Yes, <laughs> but I think you can guess. All right, all right. Please, you can uh, continue your writing. I get. I think you I can. I think we need to. Um, perhaps we need to talk about the paragraph, the template, so that the kids has the I, The kids have the ideas. Yes. You know? Yeah. All so, right. so um, pupils, you can start with hi, I, I am your name, and I love helping out. Who? Perhaps not only your mother, but maybe your father, your uncle, your auntie, your grandfather, grandmother. So anyone <laughs> in your family, right? At or in where? Where? All right. And I, what? The adverb of frequency. Just choose one. I always, I usually, I never, I sometimes help what activity. And I also, this is the second activity. All right. So this is the template. It looks very easy, right? Very easy, yeah. Hmm, I'm sure isn't you can it? do it. I'm okay, sure okay while waiting for the kids to do the writing, right. I have a question for you, Mr. Honey. Yes, Ms. Akira. Can you guess, out of all this housework, can you guess which housework that Dave has never done? Huh. Dave, being the wizard Dave. Wiz mm. I don't think wizards have cars. They'll be flying around. Mm -hmm. So I don't think Mr. Dave or wizard Dave but I, I will wash my broom, though. Oh, you wash your broom? <laughs> yes, that is exactly. Right. Yes. I need to clean up, you know. Yes, with the that is dust true. Dust on it. Yeah, that is true. So. That is true. And your magic dust. Yeah. You always need to collect your magic yeah, dust as well. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, uh wrong answer. Wrong answer. Yeah. Oh, Second no. try. Second try. Second try. I think, Mr. Dave, is this is this never? You know, wizard. Never, never. Now it's you know, wizard. Done. Normally, wizard lives in a castle. He's in a castle and he's always he's always alone. He's always alone. So yes. I don't have to. You what about what do you think? If you take care of your younger yeah, siblings. Exactly. Oh, yes, yes, that is right. That is yeah. right. That is right. Wizard <laughs> yeah. is a, 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 a lonely person. He's yeah. a lonely person. So I'm always he's always lonely. Alone I'm always alone. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't need anyone. I guess with my magic power. Yes. Mm. Mm. How about so, you? How about you, Mr. Hanif? Yes. For me, Which uh, housework that you have never done? I have never done. I think I. I well, I have never took care of my younger sister. Oh no. No. You're the youngest. I did. I did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oops. Oops. Uh, oops. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, but. I think I have, have wait, I've everything. swept the floor, I've watered the plants, let me, they take out rubbish. Let me guess, I think, rake leaves? I've never raked leaves. Yeah, that is right. right. That is right. Yeah. Yes, I've never raked leaves. Mm. Yeah, yeah, me too. I've never raked, I never raked leaves. You never raked leaves as mm. well. All right. Mm. Okay. So, at least, so we know that Mr. Dave has never took take care, care of yes, his younger of sister or brother. Yep. Uh, Ms. Zakia has never raked leaves. I have never raked leaves as well. Our pupils at home, what have you never done looking at the list? And share with us your answers later because we're going to have a short break. Stay with us on Didet TV KPM. Okay. Didet TV KPM. Did you know? If you clean your house for two hours, you will burn 200 calories. Yes, that is right. If you clean your house for two hours, you'll burn 200 calories. That is a lot of calories that you're burning there. You're back with us on D-Day TV KPM. My name is Hanif Sean, and today we're learning together English Level 2 slot, and the topic is about helping out. So let me help out to introduce again our teachers, where we have Miss Wan Zakia from SK Kenoshan Convent, Kluang Choho, and also Mr. Dave or Mr. Lai Sheng Chen from SJKC Chung Kuo, Kuala Lumpur. And of course, before before we had our commercial break, uh, we left our pupils online as well as pupils at home with something, with an assignment. Yes. Share with us again, what are they doing? Okay, they have to write a short paragraph uh, telling us about, uh, to describe about their routines, routines. in helping out at exactly. home. And yes. they have to use the adverbs of frequency which we have mentioned earlier. Yes, that's right. So there are four adverbs of frequency that we mentioned which are always usually sometimes and never yes that's yes right. and i think we have our pupils answers yep. ready yes we are ready answers with the answers ready. okay all right so yeah. uh, i would like to call <laughs> upon elman zidane can you please read your paragraph right okay hi i'm elman zidane ben azaman daily routines help me feel safe and find time for enjoyable activities. Mm. I usually 
help my mom in the kitchen by washing the dishes. I always babysit my little brother. It makes me happy when he laughs and giggles. Sometimes I help my dad to wash the cars, but I never vacuum them because it's hard. Very wow. good, good a long, job. A long paragraph. Yeah. He must be a good writer. Yeah. And, and you know what? Yes. He must be a very helpful and hardworking kid at home. You see, a lot of jobs here. Yeah, wow. a lot of, a lot of housework. Great. Very good. Okay, and I noticed that even though uh, my instruction is to use two adverbs of frequency, hmm. Alma managed to use all the oh, adverbs dumb. of frequency. Yeah, we have. Well done. Always, usually, usually, always, sometimes, and never. Good job, oh. Alma. Okay. okay. Well all right, done, let's move on well to the done. next one. Sure. Let's choose uh, Valerie. Okay, Valerie. Valerie, can you please read your paragraph for me? Sure. Hi, I'm Valerie Cake. I love helping out my mom at home. I always babysit my little sister when my mom is away. I usually do the washing up after every meal. I sometimes vacuum the floor. I never wash the car. Oh, again? Wow, good <laughs> job! And amazingly, these, ch these children managed to actually use, use all the, the adverbs, of, adverbs frequency, of frequency we exactly. mentioned. Good job! Okay, and you know thank what? You. Yes. These two kids, they've never done this before. Ah, yes. Wash, wash the, the car. car. Mm. Why? Wash the car. Very but Alman washed the car, but he doesn't vacuum. Oh, mm. he doesn't yeah. vacuum. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't vacuum. All right. Okay, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> All right. Let's Who do we read, have uh, next? Izato. Izato. Okay. okay, Izato, can you please read your paragraph? Hi, I'm Norizato Nazira. I love helping out my parents at home. I usually help my mom vacuuming the floor. I sometimes help my dad water the plant. Okay, yeah. good okay. job. Thank you, Izatul. All right. Mm. For this uh, paragraph, uh, Izatul mentioned that he actually uh, usually he she usually help uh, her mom vacuuming the floor. Yeah. All right. For that sentence, we can change vacuuming into vacuum alone. Vacuum exactly. Uh, without the ing. All right? All right. I usually help my mom vacuum the floor. Good job. All right, and for the last sentence, I sometimes you will miss the uh, the letter, letter S. S. Uh, exactly, okay. sometimes. All right. right. Okay. I'm sure so. Isatul has a beautiful garden at home. Yeah, yeah I guess I'm so. Sure. Yes, that's mm. why lah. She uh, she uh, always helps uh, her um, dad, dad water, to the water the plants. Yeah. Yes, and those are the sentences, the paragraphs that our pupils online have created, and I'm sure pupils at home as well. Check back on your answers. Are your spelling correct and your sentences arrangement? And are you using only two adverbs of frequencies? Or are you using all four, like the rest of our pupils here? Huh? I'm sure they're all excellent as well. Yeah. Right, so we would like to recap yes. on what we have learned together today. All right, so now before we end the show, so here's the recap that we would like to recall the memory of what they have learned so far. Okay, so pupils, here is the question. So do you still remember what was the first writing that you did? What was the first writing you can raise your activity? Hand to answer the first writing activity. Yes. Yeah, so Please raise your hand to answer what was the first writing activity that you did. We'd like to try. Okay, I think okay. Okay. So he, he, hey. Okay, yeah. hey. Indefinite pronouns. Indefinite pronouns. So what are you going to do with indefinite pronouns? What did you do with indefinite pronouns? Do you still remember what did you do with indefinite pronouns? We wrote four sentences about Four sentences, it. exactly. All right. So we used someone, something, everyone, and everything to form sentences. To All right. people and things. Things, exactly. So here comes the task. Okay, the next task is... Okay, so this is the text. And this text wow. is from Get Smart Plus, which is student's book, year four student's book. And okay, so now pupils, what are you going to do here is you're going to fill in the blanks with the indefinite pronouns that you've learned. Those four indefinite pronouns. So here comes the spelling part. You know, you need to recall your memory, you know, how to spell out the words and use the words appropriately in every blank here. Wow, ah. I think this is challenging. It's quite a long paragraph. Yeah. Yes, I think home, so. Read the paragraph and there are four blanks that we will need to fill in with, with four indefinite pronouns exactly. which are someone, something, something everyone, everyone, everyone and everything. everything. Yes. All right. So recycling now, is using what mm -hmm. or who. Perhaps we, we can get the student to read the sentence or maybe to tell me which uh, the first answer. Anyone would like to try the first answer? Yes, Ng Kai Jun. 
What is the first Recycling answer? Recycling is using something you don't need anymore to make a new thing. Oh, Good job! Very, very yes. true. All right. So what about the second answer? Anyone? Okay, Natalie. We can't recycle everything, but we can recycle metal, paper, glass, and plastic. Good, Good job. job. Yes, right. we can't recycle everything. Huh? We, can't we can't everything. Ah, everything. There are things that we can't recycle. Yes. Can you tell me what are the things that we can't recycle? Oh, this is a trick question yeah. for me right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or perhaps, uh, Ms. Zakia, uh, okay. you know anything? Things that we can't hmm. recycle, food waste. Remember, food waste. Ah. food waste. We yeah. can't we can, recycle we can make food it. waste. Yeah, we can make it, we can turn them into compost. Yes, right? very good. Yes. Yes. Okay, so I'll remember that answer forever. Thank you, <laughs> Ms. Akia. <laughs> okay, who wants okay. to try the third one? Okay, Valerie. Switch on your microphone, Valerie. Everyone can recycle by putting all the recyclable materials in the recycling bins. Exactly. Good job, yes. Everyone, everyone can recycle. Yes, everyone can do this. Mm. Okay, Even the, kids. That yes. is true. So the last answer. The last answer. Who wants to try? Yes, you, Hei Yi. So when you see someone next time, you can share with him or her some ways to help the earth. Very exactly. good. So after this, when you see someone, you can help them. Uh, you can help him or her by telling yeah. ways to help uh, Perhaps, the earth. Yeah, you can share with them your experience. You know how to recycle things. You know what are the things that can be recycled and what are the things that you can't recycle, but we can send it somewhere else to recycle it or perhaps to dump it, right? Yeah. That is true. Okay, okay so very, now let's move on to the next It's very important for us to recycle one. because yeah. we would like to save the environment yeah. exactly. together. Right. So, because a lot of students, maybe they, they, they may have the concept like, you know, uh, yeah, taking care of the earth is very hard, you know? Yes. But it can be as simple as like, you sweep the floor, you know, don't litter. Yeah, so now, Ms. Zakia. Okay, now okay. let's next. move on. Who can tell me what was our second writing activity? What did you do just now? Who can tell me? Raise your hand. I'm okay, Elman. Yes, okay, Elman. A short paragraph of a bird's frequency. Yes, Very good. a short paragraph. Very good. Yeah, thank you, Elman. Your second writing activity, what you did, you wrote, you wrote a short paragraph about your routines in helping out at home and you use adverbs of frequency, always, usually, sometimes and never. Good job! Yes, well done and well done of course. Thank you so much to our teachers because I think we have learned so much together today. We learned about indefinite pronouns, we learned about adverb frequencies and I'm sure our pupils online and pupils at home, they now learn how to use these words better. I'm sure you can agree with me on that. And definitely, I would like to thank both our teachers, Ms. Wan Zakia Wan Sulong from SK Conversion Convent Luang Johor, and of course, Mr. Dave, who is also Mr. Lai Sheng Chet from SJKC Chung Kuo Kuala Lumpur. Thank you so much to both our thank teachers. You. Thank you so much. And then to so much. six of our pupils online from SJKC Chung Kuo Kuala Lumpur, Valerie K, Ng Kai Chun, as well as Natalie. From SK Men Menumpang Kuala Penyu Sabah, we have Elman, SK Perempuan Bandar Keluang Johor, Nor Izato, as well as SK Kenoshan Convent Kluang Joe, we have Siu Hei, and of course our pupils at home. Thank you so much for being with us today. And and and, and teachers, I do have one last question yes. though. How do you think this, the pupils did today? Wow, they did a very good job. Mm, I would they did say. very well. Yeah. They're very smart. All right. So I was perhaps... surprised to see their paragraph. Yes. They managed. They managed to uh, use, use all, all the, the adverbs, adverbs of frequency. frequency. That is yeah. true. We were just asking for only two adverbs of frequencies, and they used all four. four so I think them. that's exceeding exactly. expectations. Very good. And teachers, I'm sure uh, our people at home are also asking, how do they do more exercises? Okay, for the exercises, you can actually get them uh, uh, from Sumberku or from your own Get Smart Plus Four textbook. Yes, exactly. Right. All of the resources from mm. the textbook. Mm -mm. Yeah. All right, so keep your textbook close with you. Go and check Sumboku because you would like to continue your exercises. And we hope to see you again. My name is Hanif Sean. Thank you so much. And stay tuned always on Didate TV KPM. Bye. Bye. Bye.
KPM.